And it's so strange to, um, to feel that I'm close to 65 and you're 21. <laughs> and when we make music together, it's like, yeah. it's like nothing, yeah, yeah. no time in between. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's very beautiful, it's awesome. very beautiful experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They never met me um, in Shanghai, actually, in a festival um, two years ago, and he heard me play the Petrushka. And then I, I told him I love Stravinsky. So he programmed this on the program, and then uh, it's not my favorite piece of Stravinsky, but it's very neoclassic. And um, there is a, it's a big piano part, not as big as the Rahmanov we're going to play, but um, it has it has a lot of really really sudden switches between like lyrical stuff and very rhythmical stuff. As probably with your teachers, there is um, there's not too much discussion about that aspect. Uh -huh. It's just a discussion yeah. about what you need to know and and, and learn and develop. Yeah. But then when it comes to being on stage and having your yeah, own your own. <laughs> own personality, and, and yeah. it's really up to you. Right. Um, and where that can that can be very stimulating, yeah. but it also sometimes can um, get you to, to go in the wrong direction uh -huh. and, to, and to, to be doing things that feel great but that don't serve uh, the best okay. of the music. Yeah. And the music, I mean, I think you'll agree, is better than any of us, <laughs> you know? I mean, I like <laughs> <laughs> try to compare yourself to, to Beethoven. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I like to think of the analogy that it's like someone who's maybe slightly colorblind and they really want to appreciate Rembrandt. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, <laughs> you have to make a lot of work yeah, yeah. to be able to appreciate something like that because you just don't have the sight. Well, we don't have the vision of a Beethoven or a Schubert right. or Bach or these people. So it means the responsibility is... Oh, it's kind of yeah, it's really <laughs> very strong. <Yeah. laughs> What a wonderful way to, to spend a life. Huh? That has a lot to do with uh, Lin Harrow's playing. Um, because all he, he always talk about how to phrase. And then, like, the, because the difference between a singer and instrumentalist is singer have to speak the word and the poetry and stuff. So to understand the poetry and also the consonant and the, uh, consonant and the, the vowels, mm -hmm. I think he really think about that when he played the instrument. And it, it comes off very differently. Just the way we breathe together when we play and, and the way he I just feel like he's singing on the cello, and he's speaking on the cello. It's beautiful. He has so much to say, I, I have to respond. <laughs> Once my one of my early summers here, I was awakened by cowbells because <laughs> yeah. they, they put the bells on the cows right. so they, they can always tell where they are, uh, even in the night. 
and I thought immediately of the Mahler Sixth Symphony. Oh, yeah. He put them in the symphony. Right. Uh, in the percussion section. And of course, I had it absolutely backwards. Mahler wanted in the symphony for people to remind, be reminded of the countryside uh -huh. in Switzerland oh, yeah. and the cows. Yeah. But it was opposite for me because <laughs> I've never experienced cows in the pastures. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the lark was too slow? No, I just couldn't find the beat in the beginning. Oh, I, I'm <laughs> going to give you very clear signs. Only the downbeats. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want to... You'll have a slight change of color because I'm changing to from a finger to an open string. I had a lot of opportunities stepping in for people. I substitute Argrish in, in Boston and Kissing in Lisbon and Bronfman, Berezovsky. I substitute everybody in the United States and it seems like I was very lucky that way. So. Now is really is a time for me to making make my own debut, like my real concerts, and then um, I, I it's um I don't want to take it too fast. I want to like still have time to learn new pieces, new repertoire, and um, to just not just play the piano, like to experience life, travel around.